morning, princess. Is it morning bath time? Hey. Hey guys, so welcome to Aussie Homeschool Adventures. My name is Jo. It's great to have you here. Today I'm going to take you along for our school day, life day thingy. Um, whoop, whoop. So I've um, just had a shower. We've had breakfast. The girls are doing their morning jobs. They're getting ready for the day. So I'll take you and show you what we're getting up to here. And we'll be starting on school when we're ready. Probably another half an hour, 45 minutes. So it's now 10 it's now 10 o'clock, so we're not morning people here. We um, have quite a slow, casual start to our mornings, which works for us. So, yeah. All right, I'll um, show you what we're up to. So, apparently, Beck has decided that this morning she wants to repaint her um, her toenails. She still has her morning jobs to do, don't you, Becca? Yes. Yes. We'll do them shortly, I'm sure. Today's Monday, so, yes, clear off our um, job chart from last week. So this is our little chart. I got this from Aldi. The girls really love it. It has their favourite animals. We have sloths for Olivia, and llamas for Becca. And they have their basic list of jobs that they're required to do every morning. And they use their little coloured magnets. These are so cute. Focus. There we go. Cute little llamas and little sloths that they mark off on their chart. Oh. Hey, is it time for your breakfast? Yeah, we're gonna feed the puppy dog. Yeah, we feed the puppy. Good boy. So I'm just gonna head down and check the chickens are all good. We've got a, a mother hen sitting, so I'll show you Mama Anna and her. Well, I can't show you her babies because there's no babies yet. There's still another. Um, probably 10 or more days from hatching so yeah morning ladies and Brewster the rooster and his little brother well son I don't know yeah other little baby that we had turned out to be two roosters so he's going to a new home on Thursday because we can't have two roosters it's not kind or fair to anybody so let's go and see mama Anna Hey. Oh, hello, Masha. Hello, Miss Masha. Hello, Mama Anna. Hey. What do those eggies doing over there? They need to come underneath you. Hey. Good girl, Mama. She's a bit feisty. She's probably going to try and peck me if I'm not careful. Aren't you, Mama? Yes, I know her beak is split. We've trimmed it. It doesn't seem to be affecting her ability to eat or drink. Um, so yeah, she's all good. Apparently it's laying time. because We've got these two on the other side. That's her daughter, Miss Mischief. And then Miss Masher over there. Who apparently has managed to knock out one of the dividers. Nicely done, ladies. Nicely done. So our veggies are still looking at uh, this bed is empty ready to be planted into sometime soon this one is full of garlic all of these are garlic that we've sprouted and there's a couple of little tiny carrots that are starting oh he's not so tiny this one's looking a bit more carroty do i need to run our watering system yeah maybe and then we've got some these sprung up by themselves. We think they're like a um, spring onion -y kind of thing. There's a couple of tomatoes that have popped up in there. So, I'm not sure if there's spring onions or onion onions. They're staying put for now in this bed. I have a strawberry growing. I'm going to come around the other way because then you're going to get less of my shadow. So, we have our strawberry. The girls painted some rocks to try and act as... um bird deterrents to stop them from eating our actual strawberries. So I've got a little green strawberry there coming on. And then there's another one there. 
We've got more flowers. And then he's pupped over here. And that looks like carrot, but it's not. It's what we call we call it carrot weed. Because it has the really long taproot, like a carrot. But it's not carrot. And then we've got our next crop of sweet potato growing in here. And that's all we have growing down here at the moment. There's more to come. The rest of the garden's still looking. It's better than it was. We've got some beds, this bed here. There's another one there that you can't really tell anymore. And up there is the pea bed. They all need to be turned over and ready. And the dogs come down to observe me. And our friendly neighborhood peewee is squawking. That's the other thing. In amongst all of these weeds in here, we have a couple of squash that have soft sown. This one actually has a um a little green squash there. And then there's another little one down there beside it. And there's another plant over here in flower. And some cherry tomatoes scattered in amongst the weeds. So we need to deal with this bed carefully. This is our galangal plant. It's doing amazing. And then over here I've got our turmeric that's ready to be harvested. So I need to dig it out sometime soon. But that's it for now. Oh, and there's some pineapples scattered throughout the garden beds. But they take about three years. So these guys are still another year or more away from bearing us any kind of pineapple fruit. But that's okay. We shall wait. Then this is our seedling nursery. Well, we'll be seedlings at the moment. They're just seeds. So we've got snow peas and sugar pie peas, some spring onions, leek, tomatoes, sweet corn, cucumber, zucchini growing in that side. Well, starting in that side. Then over here, we've got a whole bunch of more carrots. Then we've got cabbage, coriander, more spring onions, some wombok some spinach, lettuce, capsicum, rock melon. So we'll um, hopefully these all um, start growing. We only planted them on the, the other day. So they're not quite ready to grow yet, but they're coming. So I'm gonna give all these a drink now and water our other pots on the veranda. Oh, and down here we've got um, watermelon and Lettuce and more cucumbers. Let's turn on our watering system down the back. It's actually really cool. This hose goes through here, through here, through, and through there, and then down, down across the backyard, like underground. It comes out down there, and then we've connected it all up to our drip system. This is our beautiful macadamia tree. We've got to find a spot in the back paddock to plant him. Just be careful because I want the cows to eat him. And then we've got our nectarine tree to get in the ground, blueberry, who will stay in a pot because blueberries don't like normal soil. My ginger, you can see my ginger starting to grow. And we've got a couple other little herbies and stuff happening over there as well. The chair's out because the cat threw up on it. So yay, need to clean that. The joys of a long haired cat. So the girls are in here doing their hair. Go in hair clips. There we go. You're going to put your hair clips in? Okay. Libby's going to take those out and put it up all by herself. And brush your teeth. I can't do that yet. I yeah. suck on a twist. Like yeah. Time. But you'll, you're, you're going to try, aren't you? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay. Do you want morning tea in school? Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'll be okay. I'll make some morning tea and we'll get started on our schoolwork. So I have my plan here for the week. I sat down and I planned all this on Sunday. So I'm just writing our subjects down. This is my planner that I bought from Unbound Homeschooling. I will pop a link in the description box to Jamie's website and her planner. This was actually, I think it was, pretty sure it's free. Donation, if you find it valuable and can do that, she would appreciate it. But they're, um, yeah, they're really nice. So, yeah. so today is Tuesday, we're going to do Bible, we're going to have a look at our gather round from um, Asia gather round unit, do a handwriting and spelling, we'll do our language lessons, our maths, um, I don't know that we'll do that last lesson, we'll see how we go, 
it's puberty we might do one because my girls are getting close to that <laughs> not sure how i feel about that but we'll do that we also didn't get to our marine biology yesterday so we'll see we may incorporate that today as well i'll see how we go um so that's my plan for the week so we'll see how we go but I'm going to go and make morning tea. So these two are heading off outside for a little play on the trampoline while I make morning tea. Burn off some of that energy. Off they go. And just a little taste of reality because, you know, I'm a realistic person here. There's puppets on the floor and paper mess and, yeah. My, my house is not Instagram perfect. Never has and never will be. going to use our answers for kids we're up to volume two for our bible this morning these girls will munch while we eat and talk so question why doesn't the bible tell us about the ice age all right now i'm actually going to I like that. That's really cool. You starving, Becca? Are you going to die if I don't feed you? Yes. Do I never feed you? Yes. <laughs> sure. So once again, we're breaking for more food. The children are hungry. They've gone outside to have a little play. I think they're just chilling on the trampoline at the moment. So about to heat up some leftovers. Well, actually not heat up for one. One child likes her food cold. Cold pasta. Gross. She loves it. So going to make some lunch, taking a break. All we've done is our Bible and our gather round. That was all we managed to get through before we had to break. Because we were starving. So I'm feeding the kids. And we'll come back after lunch, hopefully, and get a little bit more done. Some days it's like this, and that's okay. I'm looking at our meal plan and take out my little focus camera. We're having for dinner. We're here. So it's chicken and corn patty, so I'm going to go take out my chicken tenders for tea. We just finished eating a little while ago. These two are chilling out watching YouTube. They're about to hop off though, aren't you? Yes. What's up with the puppy? Hey. Yes, that would be his hair. I have tumbleweeds everywhere. Bolt, what's up? Did you want to go out? Yeah. Do you want to go out? No? You don't want to go out the door? <laughs> what's up? Yeah, so you're learning about how letters join up and link up. You did these ones? Yep, yeah. so you traced and copied them. And then that one, traced and copy. Yep, good job. Looks good. Alright, so we're going to work through some sight words. Yes. Are you going to mix them up, are you, Becca? Yes. Okay. That sounds a lot of What are you doing? Procrastinating. This is not helping you concentrate. 
I love that you like listening to music, but you've written one word in that time. So, writing them all in capital letters. Okay? This is not a hard fact. Yep. Get her done. I will. Oh, good. This is called Summer Landscape with Children and Donkey. It's from 1890. You did great. A really good little story that you've written. Well done. Hey. All right. Do you want to pop that away? Should I read it to the camera? Okay. Yeah. All right. You read it. Read it to me. The cat caught the mouse. The dog jumped in front of the cat. The cat ran away. The mouse was happy, but the dog ate gra grab the mouse and ate it. Oh dear, poor mousey. He got eaten by the doggy. Yes, instead of the kitty. Instead of the kitty, the doggy ate him? Yes, but I prefer cats to dogs. Which no. is strange. Oh okay, grab the math book out. Weird name for a street. So we're doing directions today. Directions. Directions. Yep. So which street was it? Market Street. Yep. Okay, fill it in. I can't read vertical. Oh. Well, you can always turn your book. We're coloring in our cat rainbow now. So cute. My four favorite colors. Your four favorite colors? Pink, teal. Some people will call it aqua. Yep. And purple and blue. Beautiful. I can't wait to see her all finished. Yes. What are your sisters up, up to? She's doing her math lesson over here. Yes, and I don't think I need to do Fahrenheit. No, we'll leave the Fahrenheit part. That's fine. We usually skip the Fahrenheit. We can, we'll talk about it in relation to our thermometer in a minute. I'll get it off the wall. Do you reckon you can do this one? Probably an easy mental math. Okay. Oh, but John on. You can do that one tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Get it done. This was technically that. Finished product. It's so cute. It's supposed to look like that. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us today for our day in the life. So that was it. That's a rough look at our homeschool day. Every day is different. There is no normal day. We go with the flow, things chop and change. The last little clip at the end is Miss Ten Olivia deciding to do an out school class this afternoon. She jumped on and wanted to do one of those. So she jumped on and learned some magic tricks throughout school, which was really good. She really enjoyed that. Um, that's a great place to source classes and lessons on things that might not be in your school set, skill set. So things like magic tricks or art or dance. Things like that are really fun and the girls really enjoy them. They're all done via Zoom. So you're not watching just to, not just watching a video. You're actually, if you do a live class, engaging with the teacher and other students from all around the world. So we've done a few of them now and they really enjoy them. So check it out, school, if you want something different to add into your curriculum program. Otherwise, thanks for joining us today. If you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. Hit the like video if you've enjoyed today's video and stick around for more great homeschooling content and we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.